Hi, I'm Tom Summers with the Diner Realty. Welcome back to my ongoing video series on the 10 basic steps to buying a house. Today I want to focus on step number five, which is writing an offer. This is where it gets really exciting after you've found the house. But before you do that, there's a couple things you might want to keep in mind. First thing would be to sit down with that agent that you've chosen and have them provide you with all of the comps of all of the homes that have sold in the neighborhood and in that city over the last six months or so that are applicable to the house that you're looking at. This way it will help you to determine where you want to start for a price or an offer price and also maybe as far as you're willing to go as far as the value because we can break it down as agents to literally dollars per square foot of finished square footage to give you kind of a rough idea. Everything in, in an offer is negotiable. You want to remember this as well because it's not just about the price, although that's very important. You can choose your closing date. Uh, are you going to prorate taxes to the day of closing for the buyers and sellers? Do you want to have an inspection? How much time do you need for that? Uh, when do you want possession? Do you want it immediately or, or is the seller requiring a couple of days? So after you start all that out and you write the offer, there's two other things that you're going to want to present with that offer. The first one's going to be a pre-approval letter, which you've gotten in step three with a loan officer, showing that you can purchase the house. So typically you'll get a customized pre-approval letter from the lender at that time with the property address of the home you're writing an offer on. And then the other piece is the earnest money check. This one is always an issue for people because they're unsure of what to write or how much of an earnest money check to write out. So I want to tell you that typically 1% of whatever the purchase price is, is the most common. Though you don't necessarily have to write that much. Maybe you don't have that much and some of it's coming in a gift money uh, at closing. So you want to write something, you know. Um, but it's not a gift to the seller. It's not like you're going to lose it. It goes into the broker's trust account. And then on the day of closing, whatever amount of money you need to bring to close, let's say it's 5%, it would be 5% minus that amount that you wrote out in the earnest check. So you do get that money as a credit. Uh, a lot of people believe that the stronger the earnest money, the better the offer. With you know, uh, traditional home sellers, it doesn't seem to be as important as that pre-approval letter that it's with a bank that's local or a national bank that they, that they know the name. But where the earnest money really is important is if you get in multiple offers, say with a foreclosure, then the banks really look at that like, wow, okay, the stronger the earnest money, the stronger the offer. Again, it's not 100% foolproof, but it certainly doesn't hurt. So those are the two extra pieces that you want when you're making an offer. I wish you the best of luck and happy house hunting. Thanks for watching the video and have a great day.